The world's famous Christmas is our name we came up with this year for our display. This year we started before Thanksgiving. Usually it's around Thanksgiving. We start every night from dusk till about 10. Uh, the weeknights are the weeknights are always about 10. Weekends might get a little later, you know, depending who's home or um, you know how it's feeling that night if we have people still up and around. But anytime as it starts to get dark, come by and we'll probably be up and running. Yeah, four years ago we had pretty much just lights, um, nothing really moving. We had some maybe color changing lights, but nothing. None of our big, you know, displays you see in the window of videos or any of our big animated lights. It was pretty much lights on the house and a lot of static props. And then over the years, we've kind of tried to tried to clean it up and not so much of just stuff thrown out there, and, but make everything look good. Um, so then we added, you know, uh, some different color changing lights and then some Christmas trees. And then eventually you get into the animated lights with like the little boy licking the pole and the Santa Claus with the reindeer makes it look better, more professional. And then uh, the videos in the window we got two years ago is the first year we did them. And once you get, start doing that, you kind of get addicted and you just want to put them in every window. So we have like eight projectors or something. So we have all of them going on. And, and we figured a lot of kids come to the Christmas house and they would probably want to mail a letter to Santa Claus at the Christmas house. So we have a mailbox here, it's got a little slot. You can just slide your letter in, or you can open it up and slide your letter in, and we'll make sure they get to the right place. Everybody likes lights and they're, they're bright, they're pretty, they move, and just something like gets you in the, in the spirit of Christmas when you see them. And basically with, with any holiday, I, that's how I feel, and watching people come, stop, having their kids just stand in awe and look at everything. That to me is the number one reason. Like that to me it gets me on a good high for Christmas and Halloween. It's like euphoric. As a kid there were never enough lights on the house. I put up more than my dad would. Then we moved up here to Utah and never heard of the Festival of Lights but I felt like oh my gosh we were meant to move here. <laughs> and then I more lights, more lights. We'd go looking at houses and just the ones that stood out were the ones that had bigger displays and you only can see them for so long then they're gone for a year and Dylan liked participating in it with me so together we'd look and there's a space we need to fill there's another space we need to fill and I, I've got an epiphany let's do this and so as a homeowner I just feel like great anybody that can drive by and get enjoyment and their Christmas season can be just a little more special because of the lights that makes me happy. These arches, I really like how they came out. Dylan wanted to do arches, and we were trying to think, how can we do it? We had some spare parts to an old trampoline we were throwing away, and as I'm trying to load him into the dumpster, he's going, wait, I think I can use those for Christmas. Okay, and he did, and I just like how they look. And the, um, the videos in the window, those are really cool, because you get the feeling that there's really a Santa's workshop upstairs and you see him walk by and there's elves in that room. They are in that room making toys. You know? My favorite is the boy with the, the boy uh, with his tongue in the pole. That to me is just, it's hilarious. I like the Santa Claus. Um, I like the juggling snowman, but the videos just get way more attention. To me, I like the stuff that's not as the attention getter from what people come and tell me but uh yeah i'd have to say the the boy at the pole is my favorite it's just our home display um it would be cool if you know people liked it and wanted to add more or everybody wanted to join in and kind of grow on that i would love for people to check out our page give recommendations show their friends if we could get everybody in the city and the county the state to come and look at it that's really our goal for every year we just want as many people to look at it as possible and see it and enjoy it yeah, so just come drive on by at 1068 East Scenic Drive. We love to have people drive by, stop, take pictures, get out of their car, engage. If you see somebody out, outside walking out of the house, don't be nervous. We know people are here to look at the lights. That's why we do it. We want to talk to people, see what they think. I love hearing what people have to say about it and just engaging with everybody that comes by to enjoy it.